Trini, is it working? I don't know. It hasn't popped up yet. Hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome back once again to an all-new Sermons in the Park. I am once again Reverend Jamie McCaskill. You know, as I look around this world today, I see so much fear, so much anxiety. You know, um, especially over uh, this virus that's going on. Um, I see so much fear from people, you know, they don't want to leave their house. Um, they're fearing to be near other people. I have seen churches literally closing their doors and uh, doctor's offices closing their doors. And I just shake my head in sadness. All this brings to mind what David said in Psalms 56.3. He says, <clears throat> when I'm afraid... I put my trust in the Lord. We as Christians need to stop fearing any force in the world, for our Lord will not allow it to harm us. As the Bible tells us in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, Have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So here we have the Lord telling us not to be afraid because he's with us. One of the pictures I've seen on Facebook recently that I love is a picture of a baby lion. Um, on him is the quotation that says, me. Behind him crouched is an adult lion. And on him is the quotation, God. This picture illustrates how we as Christians are. We are that little baby lion. We're out here in this evil world and we are all, all the we are all that the evildoers see. You know, they don't see the Lord behind us. But crouching behind he's crouching behind us ready to protect us. And he has his angels with him. And just like it says in Exodus 14, 14, the Lord will fight for you. You have only to be silent. Amen. You do not need to be afraid. Not with these things going on, especially if you're a Christian. Because we have God and a legion of angels to protect us. Our future is safe. Our homes are prepared. And the roads are paved. That's what it says in Luke chapter 10, verse 19. It says, Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions over the power of the enemy. Nothing shall hurt you. Nothing shall hurt you. That's what it says right there, brothers and sisters. Nothing shall hurt us. Nothing. So if Jesus says nothing shall hurt us, what do you have to fear? What do you have to fear? The Lord says to Josh, to Jacob in Isaiah 41, 14, Fear not, you worm Jacob, you men of Israel. I am the one who helps you, declares the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. Paul also said something in the Hebrews 13, 6. So we can confidently say the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? What can man do to me? When we're going around our daily, when we're going about our daily lives, we need to remember that the Lord has told us many, many times to fear not. We should be brave and keep the faith, because God is in control. <coughs> Excuse me. And although men, and although things may not go our way, God is in control. We need to keep the joy and the peace and know God and Jesus love us and they will protect us. Psalms 93 4 tells us, King David says, Mightier than the thunders of many waters, mightier than the waves of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. 
The Lord on high is mighty. So, I'm not telling you not to be afraid, but you shouldn't be. You know, you shouldn't let that fear control your life. What should you do when you are afraid? You should pray. Pray and trust in the Lord. Use that superpower that God gave you. Use your faith. The Bible tells us faith can move mountains. In Philippians 4, 6, it tells us, Do not be anxious about anything. Excuse me. But in everything be but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. So when you feel fear, you should call on God. You shouldn't think to yourself, oh, he doesn't want to hear this. Call on him. Call on him. David didn't fear Goliath because he knew. He knew that God would help him. That's why he said in Psalms 55, 22, cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will permit the righteous to be moved. King Solomon, the son of David, and the wisest man who ever lived, he said in Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all your hearts. Do not lean on your own understanding. <coughs> in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will straight your path. So, you know, in this, in this world today, so many, like I said, so many of us are fear, afraid, but we shouldn't be. We should all trust in the Lord. Because the Lord will take care of you. He will not let any... He, he's already planned everything out for you. There's no reason for you to be afraid. So fear not. Fear not. Trust in the Lord. And you will see that there is nothing to fear. For God loves you. He loves you so much that He sent His Son to die for you. That's what it says in John 3, 16, right? It says, he, you know, for God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. He loves you that much, and he will take care of you. He said himself, in the Bible it says that he knows what he has planned for us, and they're plans of, of, of prosperity and not evil. It also says in Hebrews 11.1, 1, Now faith is assurance of the things hoped for, the conviction of things you haven't seen. <clears throat> I know with these things going on, you know, we, none of us know what's going on. We, we don't know day to day what's going to happen. But God is with us. You know, um... I have times when I will do something and someone will go, don't you know that you could have got hurt? Or don't you know this or that? And it's like, yeah, but I'm not afraid because God's not through with me yet. You know, there's too much work for us to do. So, I just want to let you all know, you know, that and you're not alone. I'm here for you. If you need prayer, just message me. I will pray for you. I'll pray with you. You know, you shouldn't be afraid of what's going on this world's a beautiful world there's so many beautiful things out here there's so many people that need to he need to see that we as Christians sh are not afraid of this because God's not going to let this stop us and because there's nothing that, that's going to happen to us that he isn't that isn't something he has planned and God's plan is greater than our own plan you know a lot of people like to say Man makes plans and God laughs. You know, yeah, that's true because He has a greater plan for you. You know, it, it may not be what you want, but it's a plan. God's plan is greater because He wants us to be there, not here, but there. Our provisions are waiting on us there, not here. He knows what He has planned for us. So, this is my challenge for you today. I want you to go live your life. Live it with the three gifts that God has intended for us. Faith, hope, and love. Show everyone that you love them. Pray for them. I don't want you to be afraid. God doesn't want you to be afraid. So do not fear. Do not fear what this world threatens you with. We know where we are headed. 
and it is a lot better place than here. It's a lot better place than here. Our loved ones are there, and you know, it's like I said, it's just a lot better place. I wish to end today with a quote from Isaiah. Isaiah 35 4 says, <clears throat> Say to those who have an anxious heart, Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, with the recompense of God. He will come and save you. So as long as you're not afraid and you pray, and you know that God is with you, God, I've said time, like I said time and time again today, there's nothing for you to fear because your ally is the Lord. And he's a much stronger ally than anything in this world can put against you. I love each and every one of you. Um, if you haven't yet, go over to the YouTube page and give the page a like. Subscribe to it. Uh, this video will be uploaded there later. And yes, as you can see, I did get a new computer. I wanted to make sure that uh, I'm able to broadcast live here for, for you every Sunday. Um, I want to make sure I was able to do what the Lord wanted. Um, and that is this, to be able to broadcast live to you every Sunday. Um, also, there, uh, when I'm able to, I do post, I try to post a, uh, a YouTube exclusive video every Sunday. Or not every Sunday, but every week. Um, <clears throat> there's a, several of them over there that you may not have, may not have seen. Um, something you may have wanted to hear uh, or needed to hear. And so, I uh, love each and every one of you. Um, if you need prayer or you just want to, if there's something on your mind um, and you're curious what the Bible says about it, all you got to do is message me. I'm, I'll be glad to answer your questions. Um, I love each and every one of you. May God bless you on this Sunday. Um, have a great day, and I hope to see you back here next Sunday. Um, next Sunday's sermon is on how to forgive yourself. Uh, so I'll see, I hope to see you all back here again next Sunday. God bless you and, uh, have a great day.